been great. Uh, just growing more as an individual and as an offense and uh, throughout position groups and as a team wholly. Um, it's been great. Are there any focuses that you've had specifically with your staff? Um, I'll definitely say physicality, you know, um, with nutritionists and within the weight room, trying to build more upon that. And um, I'd also say just the intent level of coming off last year and what more we expect from ourselves and what we plan on doing in the future. When you talk about working with the nutrition staff, like, are there been, like, wholesale changes that you've made or has it been little things? Yeah, almost. Uh, well, little things end up becoming big things, you know, from um, eating almost 4,000 to 5,000 calories a day, um, growing up to 10 pounds in weight. Um, and having sleeve and our nutritionist uh, Stacy Potter uh, kind of just work with uh, how our bodies are built and what more needs to be put in and what's put out. Um, hydration too is a big key factor. You know, um, trying to just build up to where uh, can list us on the field for as long as possible. Is that something that you went to them about, or is that just the natural progression of you trying to develop as well? Uh, both. You know, but um, especially how I ended last year. Um, you know, I definitely could see myself uh, wanting to be stronger, um, you know, more physical, and uh, within my game, I would definitely say that's one of the biggest key factors I wanted to improve on. When you go through a physical change like that as a wide receiver, how does that feel going back on the field with this new sort of figure? Um, it makes us, or makes me build uh, more on things I need to grow on, you know, look back on things that, um, key tactics to where um, you can grow and still be um, progressing in areas you need to improve on. I heard Coach Samuel talk a lot about your guys' emphasis on yards after the catch. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like you've grown in that regard over the last kind of six months? Um, he's been building our feet, um, you know, to as soon as that tuck's near, you know, reading defenses as soon as after you catch the ball to where you know where your exit route is, um, your exit movements. So um, he's been helping us a lot with that. And for you personally, what sort of goals do you have for yourself this fall? Um, just help the team in any way possible, special teams as a receiver, um, as a leader. Um, also try to improve um, with the freshmen, you know, coming in, you know, that was one thing I wanted to as a young freshman was to look up to dudes that were around me um, at the time, you know, Andrew Parchment, Decalve Williams, uh, Kwame Laster, you know, it should be by those guys' hips, and that's why I told the younger guys, you know, as much as you love this game, we don't really see how much you love it more with how much you want to surround yourself uh, around it and others outside and inside the facility. Yeah, you mentioned the freshmen. What has stood out to you about them so far? All of them. Um, I'll definitely say the, the want to learn. You know, um, do, doing exactly kind of what I said, uh, staying by my hip, um, a lot of the other receivers' hips, um, picking up free game, you know, just the uh, smallest things. You know, Coach Sam has also emphasized that also. Um, he was like, you know, take these guys in, you know, be a big brother to these guys. So that's it's been great. It's been fun. Luke said you guys get to design your own plays this week. What are you going to come up with? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's actually a really hard question. Um Something that's going to involve um, downfield play, you know, something that's going to work. And, you know, that's so we're going to keep using it too, not just one-moment plays. Uh, just keep stacking them and stacking them to where maybe we can use them in every week, you know, not just one week or week five or, you know, deeper in a week. So we can use it and stack it and put it and keep it in our playbook. Uh, you talked about wanting to personally be a leader for the freshmen, but how much does it help them that they have, you know, six or seven guys coming back that they can all sort of model themselves upon? Um, it's great, you know, with different multiple types of receivers, it's different, more information, you know, more game, the better you're going to be as a person, the better you're going to be as a position uh, receiver. So it's great. In the spring, we heard from a lot of guys hitting new kind of career high and miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Do you know what your, your PR would be in that? Um, I think mine was 23 some. I think mine was like point two or point one away from beans. You know, he he <laughs> got me up there. So um, yeah, a little a little bit lower. I'd definitely say probably top three. How do you feel like that's changed, gotten better over the last two three years? Um, I'll go back to what I've been doing nutritionally. You know, and in the weight room too. You know, it's just built up more uh, me for to be uh, capable on the field. You know, off the field too. Um, and it's only going to help um, others around me too. You know, if they see me improving in these ways, other guys are going to kind of latch on to that effect of, okay, well, if he can get that much faster and stronger in X amount of months and X amount of time, I think I can too. So, um, you know, coming in here, I think I weighed 170 pounds, you know, and put on um, up to now like 200 pounds. I grew five pounds of muscle and around five pounds of fat. So I'm um, just going to build and keep going. Coach Samuel 
described to you and also LJ and Luke as three guys who have the potential to be among the best you know that he's coached in his career is to hear that kind of confidence that he has in you is what does that mean to you uh, it starts off with him you know uh, with him as a man and as a teacher you know outside of football he's a great person you know great motivator um, great man to his family um, a very supportive uh, person so I think just starting with how much he bought into us is what the giving back to him you know so um, and it's the want for ourselves and it's not just us three it's Charles Wilson, it's Tanaka Scott, it's Douglas Million, it's um, multiple other receivers, you know, it's through the room, it's freshmen too. It's what we want out of ourselves and what we want out as a group. I feel like our group is a very surrounded and ongoing um, group of individuals that, you know, love and care for each other truly, um, deeply, and that's outside the field and um, just can, the sky's the limit really with us as people and as us, uh, as football players too.